so for those of you guys who are looking forward to my next war sword episode um there won't be one probably until the next update i was on day like 300 and i had been at war with the skaven and the chaos dwarves for quite some time i tried to attack the chaos dwarves they are extremely strong the skaven are impossible to take out and i was really getting nowhere and my character was not progressing in any way like i think i had like six level ups and i just never even spent points because i didn't really care at that point i felt really weak in sieges compared to like a lot of the aoe units like my character just felt really weak and the combat really didn't feel all that fun. I hope in future versions they A, allow magic and sieges, and B, they allow you to get like the cannons that the engineers had, because that would be a lot of fun, I think. And in the meantime, the new league season starts on the 23rd, I believe, and it's the seventh today. So we have some time to kill, and this mod, A World of Ice and Fire, was updated on the 14th of last month, and it's the Game of Thrones universe. So if you guys are a fan of Game of Thrones, then you might like the mod, who knows? Prepare yourself to venture forth into a world of deceit and treachery. Characters will be named according to the HBO series. Yeah, I don't know anything about the books. This one's interesting. So the factions can be at war with people like the show, I guess. I mean, if we're trying to replicate the show, then we would probably want to do static wars. But screw the show. We're making our own show here. And so we're going to be doing sandbox. Okay, I really like the idea of being a female because if I want to, I can marry a lord and there's perks to doing that. Okay, I'm not seeing any unique ranged weapons. So we're just gonna go for a melee character. So we can choose to be short or tall. I think we're gonna wanna be short. Smaller hitbox equals harder to be hit with arrows and stuff. I have no idea where to start either. I'm such a noob to this mod, I'm sorry. Let's be a Dothraki. That might give me a bonus to writing because I remember they are writers. And then father will be a lord's retainer. He proved his battle prowess on many occasions. I think that will give us some melee strength. Retainer's apprentice, learn the duties of a warrior. Yeah, I think that's good. Lesser noble's wife. You often join your husband and his retainers when they went out riding a horse. We want riding skill. And then if we do personal revenge, I think that gives us strength. As far as religion, the life of piracy, you're expected to raid, plunder, and kill. Though it's frowned upon for women of this religion to do the same, that's fine. We'll just do the piracy. We'll be a pirate. Though I'm new to the mod, we're gonna do no quit without saving because I think that makes it more fun. And it's looking like we got three in first aid, three persuasion. I'm not really sure about these stats here. We only got two in power strike and then we have two in writing as well. I'm thinking we're gonna wanna go three in power strike. Let's go for 12 agility so that we can get our weapon mastery up to four and riding up to four. Cause I think it's gonna be nice to be able to ride a four riding horse. They're usually pretty good. And let's go for one handers. We're just gonna be a melee character. What would the rain girl look like? Not bad for a random. I should have stuck with the random. Oh, that girl's cute. She looks kind of Asian. I like Asian girls. I mean, I like all girls. I'm not racist. It's early in the hours of the morning when you reach King's Landing. We're in King's Landing. Okay, great. I know what that is. Do I have a freaking... What, what, I, what is this attire I have on? This is like sexist that I would be like having a kitchen attire on. Like, like I should be cooking. Free weapon proficiency. Free XP, baby. Get that shield. Let's go. Oh, you went in a little bit early. Okay, well, I'm trying to work with these guys, but there's not really give me. Okay, that was a one shot. Uh, Lord Edgar. Okay, let's do that. Come on. I mean, I'm down to fall on my knees and do something that's gonna make these guys not attack me. I feel like if we beg for mercy though, we're gonna lose renown or something. We're not part of your fight, leave us be. We lost five relation with the Westerlands. We have three troops and they have two. What? We start with troops, eh? Oh, we start with the freaking horse too. So we're gonna have to help him while he's fighting this guy. Got him once. Okay, you can you can finish him off. He's actually getting hit. Got him. There we go. Spearman guy. I got critical damage. 17 critical damage. That's not very critical. We can drown the dead, gather and share any loot as is common. So take three hours. We can leave the dead to rot, but take the first claim and looted corpse. That's going to take one hour. That's probably going to be some kind of negative thing for like honor or something. Drown the dead in an offering to the drowned god and leave all the loot. We want some loot. So let's do the first one. We might get ambushed here and we got a shield. Requires three shield though, but we could actually get that. It's really big too. And so at the bottom, if you notice, it's minus 56 hit points. That's not hit points to me. I think that's the cracked modifier and like the resistance minus four means that the shield will mitigate less damage than like a non-cracked one. And I should probably get a pretty high shield skill because if I'm gonna be running around on a... I kind of knew this would happen while we were trying to bury the dead and be nice and be honorable. Okay, we have three against 36. So your men feel good about attacking outlaws. 
not 36 of them though i don't think i mean we might as well just do it like what else can we do here they look pretty plebbed out like if they don't have bows or anything like we might be able to do this i mean these guys are peasants dude literal peasants like they have cleavers and stuff if i just take out a few wait my guy's gotta run my guys gotta run if i take out a few we can back off as long as i have units okay my my guys are gonna die here okay wait maybe we can just back off retreat oh okay well we lost 30 silver stags it's not the end of the world though because uh aside from that we didn't really lose a whole lot we got everything else in our inventory we just lost our two units that we had which is completely okay wild boars we can take on these wild boars we are pretty desperate right now usually i don't like hunting in mods just because it feels like i can kill them and they can't kill me so it's like no danger block them off yeah he can't hurt anything he can't hurt a fly I don't really know if there's any point to doing this. I mean, I would like to get some money so I can maybe get like an armor piece because I'm wearing cooking gear right now. And I'm not freaking gonna be trying to cook for anyone right now because I'm a strong independent woman. I don't believe in gender roles. And we got, holy crap, fur cloaks for 1,000 and some boar meat that sells for 160. Okay, so we can't actually go into King's Landing now. I don't think we could have from the start. I don't even know why we started in King's Landing and we're actually pretty fast. We've been asked to accompany two soldiers of the north back to Winterfell. So uh, that's kind of awkward. And Winterfell is freaking far, mate. Holy crap. Okay, in the meantime, we're going to try to sell off the stuff we have and maybe we'll try to pick up some units one thing i'm liking about this mod so far is the f oh i was about to say it doesn't lag that much oh it has this thing i think i might have played this mod before where it has like it's a really cool cinematic like it shows the whole town and stuff but it lags when you enter the town what about the horse merchant what do you guys got for horses what do i got for a horse swaybacked saddle horse it's not good and the fur cloak only sells for 50 here so like a headpiece oh it is I look freaking good, man. I like the hairstyle, it's hot. We'll dump off the meat and the bread. Actually, we'll keep the bread. It only sells for 16, what? Our mount's actually not that bad. Like the Roundsy costs 3K and it has eight armor and it's 65 HP. Like what? It's pretty fast though. And they got like a donkey for 1400. It's really bad, it only has seven armor. Uh, is there any armor we can get? Like that's not cooking attire? No. I think our money is gonna be better spent on units. Let's check out the inn and see if we can get any units. Dude, yeah, we're looking good, man. How do you guys feel about playing women characters? Like assuming I wasn't doing this for like a strategic thing, cause I actually do want to marry a Lord, then I can have access to their castle. How do you guys feel about playing women characters? Like, do you guys usually play women characters? Cause I usually don't like for the most part, if I had to choose from man and woman, usually I do man, but like, I don't know, this girl's really hot. It's kind of cool to look at a hot girl rather than looking at a dude. What's more manly to be playing a woman character so you can look at a woman? Or are we playing a man so you are a man and while i was editing this i think i came up with the perfect solution i might just start liking men so i can look at a man and play a man at the same time and our weapon's actually pretty good it's an exquisite short arming sword we kind of want a longer sword though but oh my god these weapons are so expensive i think we just go to this quest for now okay there's this place called the crossroads inn we get 200 XP just for going in. So I think for now we're going to hold off on the 12 Agi and we're going to put a point into Int. And then we can actually get up to three shield. So we can use the shield we have now, which will up our survivability a lot. Do you want to hear a story? Sure. Okay. I uh, got a quest. Bet one stag. Okay. Find the lady. Oh, I won. Wait, this is really easy. I could win a lot of money this way. Let's bet like 50. Okay, the lady and the two men. Right here. Oh, what? That was actually harder than it looked. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I gotta win back the money I lost. Bet 50. Ladies in the middle. Okay, she definitely is right here. What? Okay, we gotta go again. Okay, ladies right here. Okay, I swear she's right here, but like she's gotta be here. Okay, I won. Oh no. Okay, this is actually impossible, dude. All right, so this game is complete RNG. You can see the lady starts in the middle and then when she goes to the right, there's a point where both cards are directly on top of each other. And at that point, you have to assume that the lady could be going in either direction. So it's literally just a 50-50 shot at just guessing the right one. Oh, I got a dude in my party. Sir Janus Lyron. This guy's a beast, 119 wages. He's got a lot of proficiency. Um, level 46, is he any trainer? Oh, he's no trainer. He wants me to find his 
home somewhere in or around Essos. He says you will need some tools, at least 50 men and 10,000 silver stags to rebuild it. Yeah, that's not happening, my dude. You know, we are at war right now with the Westerlands. An easy way to get money would be to pillage some of their villages. Okay, we have to fight their villagers. I'd rather not though, because we're just not, we're not gonna get loot from it. So there's like no point. We could grab some more units though, and then try to go back. If we had some archers, we could easily just mow those guys down. So right now we'll head over to Winterfell and on the way, we'll try to possibly take out some bandits or something and we'll try to find some archers and this is not the way to winterfell you see a raven fall in the distance it looks like it may have been injured should you go and investigate it could be important yes we'll find it okay i think we're at war with tywin lannister i know we're not at war with stannis baratheon though so let's take it to him you must make sure the letter you have found makes its way to king stannis so king stannis is back down here i believe and we're over at moat Kalen. We're almost at Winterfell, so we're just gonna keep going to Winterfell and then we'll swing back around towards Stannis. Oh God, that was close. All right, so that's gonna be the end of episode one. How long this series will go on will depend on your guys' feedback. If you guys liked it, leave a like and let me know in the comment section. I have a feeling this series is gonna be a lot slower than the War Sword series. There's not gonna be any massive explosions. There is some AOE, like there's wildfire, but for the most part, I think this mod's a lot more balanced and simple than like say, for example, War Sword or like Prisno. If that's not your guys' thing, let me know in the comment section. And if you guys want to see this go into a series, then let me know as well. And so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.